Well, hello. Okay, this is what we have to work with to start with. Um, Steve from the Gopher Hall Lawn Care Forum actually recommended this little project. What we're going to do is, I, I really don't work on stuff. I normally, when something happens to it, I take it somewhere to get fixed. But, you know, times being what they are, I think we're going to start working on stuff. And what he recommended was to take some old burned up motors we have and tear them apart see what makes them work and you know maybe we can learn something off of it this is a weed eater brand weed eater engine two stroke that it actually still runs let's see what it came off of all right there fx 25 le featherlight weed eater it ran for five or six years and what happened to it? I don't remember. I think the pulse starter got warped when I overheated it one day. So, but it, it still runs, but it has been beat on for a long, long time. So, we're going to tear it apart and see what makes it work. So I probably won't actually show myself taking it apart, but I'll each part of the process when I remove a piece, then we'll turn the camera on and talk about it. So, let's get started by cleaning it up. Okay, well here's what we got so far. We've got the uh, back end of the case there torn off and kind of worrisome. All that water there came out of the motor. Now it, uh, let's see if I can close the tripod and zoom in there. It sat outside for some time, so probably where the water came from. And we have an unwanted Black Widow resident somewhere around there. That, oh. I think that's it. It just fell in the water. Okay, well, continue the tear down. Okay, well, we've now got the entire engine out of the case. Looks like it's seen better days for sure. Now we are going to take the intake and the exhaust off. How about that? Well, okay, we've got the exhaust taken off. There it is right there. Muffler looks like it's kind of seen better days. But uh, that's what I'm interested in, seeing inside the motor. I can't wait to get that head off and really see inside there. There's the piston. It's a little scratched up, but it uh, doesn't really look too bad, actually. So, now, for the intake. Really quick view of the intake. The carburetor, manifold, and everything off. So, yep, moving to step two, we're going to take the uh, magneto off, spark plug out, and take the head off now, and try to see if we can't get that piston out today. Well, as you can see, we got it taken off now. <clears throat> um, the cylinder, you're going to have to tell me, to be honest, like I said, I don't ever work on stuff. It doesn't really look bad to me, but like I said, let's see if I can get some more light in there. Maybe somebody that knows more can uh, tell me what they think on how that cylinder looks. A couple little scratches in it here or there. The piston, however, more scratches. As you can see, it's uh, quite a few. So, yep. nasty in there. I think most of what we're seeing is uh, just the water mixed with the residual oil. And it looks like they got an o-ring, just a little like o-ring gasket that goes around here. That's interesting. Hmm. What the bottom of the cylinder looks like. We're on the bottom of the cylinder. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah that's about as a part as the main part of the engine is going to get the exhaust and manifold right there and I might tear the carburetor apart maybe learn a little bit about that but I don't know 